Good day everyone. Welcome to the lesson three of personal development class. So for today's discussion, we are going to talk about the developmental stages in middle and late adolescence. So what is the importance or what is our big question in this module? How can you as an adolescent be prepared for your adult life by accomplishing various developmental tasks according to developmental stages. The objectives are, at the end of this module, you will be able to classify various developmental tasks according to the developmental stage. Next, evaluate your development in comparison with persons of the same age group. And lastly, List ways to become a responsible adolescent prepared for your adult life. According to Joshua L. Yebman, maturity is achieved when a person postpones immediate pleasures in exchange for long-term values. Last time, I have told you to create your personal timeline. So again, what is a timeline? A personal timeline portrays the influential events and happenings of a person's life so that he can understand what he has gone wrong or what he has gone right. It helps you to plan the future in a better and constructive way. Okay, so thank you very much for sharing your timeline. It's a wonderful thing that we were able to at least know or discover our classmates' uh, personality characteristics uh, through this kind of activity. Now let's proceed to our discussion. So let's now talk about the developmental stages. Human development focuses on human growth and changes across the lifespan, including physical, cognitive, social, intellectual, Perceptual is also included, personality, and of course, the emotional growth. The study of human developmental stages is very essential in understanding how humans learn, mature, and adapt. Throughout their lives or throughout our lives, we go through various stages of development. The human being or we is either in a state of growth or decline, but either condition imparts the word change. Some aspects of our life change very little over time, are consistent. Other aspects change dramatically. By understanding these changes, we can better respond and plan ahead effectively. The first stage is prenatal. It is from conception to birth. When we say conception, in the moment that you are still inside the womb of your mother, up to birth. So what happens during that stage? It is the age when hereditary endowments and sex are fixed and all body features, both external and internal, are developed. So, syempre, while we are still in the womb of our mother, this is where our um, hereditary characteristics, when we say hereditary characteristics, ito yung mga, um, mga bagay na namaman na unipuha natin, mga kar mga physical traits na nakukuha natin from our parents. So, depende yon kung kanino yung mas malakas na genetic characteristics. Diba? Napag-aralan nyo yun sa science. Yung genes na tinutukay natin. So, kung sino yung mas malakas na genes, yun yung mas nakukuha nung baby or mas nakukuha natin nung tayo ay nasa loob pa ng sinapukunan ng ating mga magulang. Okay. So, the next stage is infancy. So, when we say infancy, this is from birth up to two years old. So, in this stage, where foundation lies, okay? It is the foundation age when basic behavior 
are organized and many ontogenetic maturation skills are developed. So what is ontogenetic behavior? So when we say ontogenetic development, it is the development that occurs as a function of experience rather than as a function of genetic makeup of an individual. So pag sinabi natin ontogenetic development or ontogenetic characteristics, so ito na yung uh, nade-develop na behavior sa bata, not by the genes from the parents but by the experience kung ano yung na-experience niya as he or she is on that stage of infancy ano yung ano yung kinikilos ng mga tao na sa paligid niya na kung papaano siya pinakakitunguhan ng mga tao sa paligid niya so somehow those are being adopted by infants ito yung mga skills na hindi mo masasabing naman na sa iyo o naman na sa parents. These are the skills that an infant developed due to a personal experience, personal exploration and discovery. Okay. The next stage is early childhood. So this is from 2 years old up to 6 years old. So it is also called as the pre-gang age exploratory and questioning language and elementary reasoning are acquired and initial socialization is also experienced so nung tayo ay mga 2 to 6 years old so usually dito natin um, natututunan kung yung yung uh, language mga basic language okay elementary reasoning kasi sinabing elementary reasoning yung mga basic reasoning uh, bakit gusto mong kumain? Kasi po, nagugutong po ako. Diba? So, elementary reasoning. Unlike ngayon, di ba pag sinabi, o oh, bakit mong gusto kumain? Ah, kasi favorite ko yun. Nagka-crave ako doon. So, syempre, hindi pa naman natin alam yon. So, pag sinabing elementary reasoning, yun yung mga basic reasoning na tinatawag natin. And also, initial socialization. So, in this age, usually, dapat, yung mga bata ay natututo na silang makipa uh, socialize or makisalumuha sa kanilang mga kapwa bata. Okay, next stage is late childhood. So this is from 6 years old up to 12 years old. Gang and creativity age when self-help skills, social skills, school skills, and play are developed. So syempre, di kong tayo nag-start um, mag-aral. So actually, ngayon, di ba, 5 years old, 4 years old, nang daaral ninyo yung mga bata. Di ba, may toddler, nursery, yan. Pero kasi, uh, dati, talagang pag sinabi mong school, mag-search siya as 5 or 6 years old pa lang. Okay. That's why, in this stage, where school skills are being developed. And then, yung social skills, syempre, mas, um, mas na-develop na siya. Ibig sabihin, mas alam na natin kung paano makitungo, kung paano makipaglaro, di ba? Makisalamuha sa ating mga um, ka-age level. And then also, we, uh, on this age, or in this um, stage where self-help skills are also developed. Kasi having self-help skills, ito yung natututo tayo sa sarili natin um kilos diba yung yung ito yung mga stage na gusto natin uh, gusto ng mga bata na wag silang pakikialaman diba kasi um gusto nila sila mismo yung mag-explore or mag-discover ng kanila mga sariling kakayanan okay. next stage is ayan adolescence so, senior high school, so yung ilan sa inyo nandito pa, or most of you are in this stage, okay? It is from puberty to 18 years. So, kasi nabi natin puberty, yan yung 12 to 13 years old. So, in this uh, stage, we're transition age from childhood to adulthood, when sex maturation and rapid physical development occur, resulting to changes in ways of feeling, thinking, and acting. So in this stage, and ito yung uh, pag sinabi natin transition stage, sa gitna ng being a child, 
pagiging bata at dun sa papunta sa adulthood. So, syempre, dito sa stage na to, where our physical changes rapidly develop. Okay. Napag-aralan niyo yan sa inyong hele or signs, di ba? Yung mga physical changes na naranasan natin sa katawan natin, yung biglang uh, paglaki, yung mga part ng katawan natin. Ayan. O kaya naman yung iba, yung, yung voice, di ba? Yung changing of voice, nagiging modulated. Kung dati matini, ngayon nagiging modulated yung voice. Ayan. Tapos, syempre, yung... Usually, sa babae, di ba, ang daming changes na nag occur na nakaka din sa ating emotions, the way we think, the way we feel, and the way we act. Kasi mas nagiging conscious na tayo sa, sa itsura natin, paano ka makikita o paano ka titignan ng ibang tao, di ba? O syempre, dyan na yung part na talagang nagkaka-crush, nagkaka-boyfriend, nagkaka-girlfriend, kasi nade-develop na nga yung emotional being natin. Okay? Next is early adulthood. Early adulthood is for from 18 to 40 years old. So, it is the age of adjustment to new patterns of life and roles such as spouse, parent, and breadwinner. So, yan. Early adulthood. So, dito nagkakaroon ng um, adjustment. Depende kung saan tumungo, kung saan yung path na tinahak natin. So, for example, um, sa ganitong age, usually nagkakaroon ng asawa. So, there is now a transition or there is now an adjustment. Diba? From being single to a married one. What else? Pwede being a parent. Diba? So, since nagkaroon ng asawa, o, oh, dinagkaroon ng anak. So, ibang-iba na yung buhay o ibang-iba na yung adjustment. Napakalaki ng adjustment na nangyayari sa stage nito. O, pwede rin naman maging bread, as a breadwinner. Diba? Meron din naman mga tao na pinili nila na to remain or to be still single because they are supporting their family. So, they are the first or the number one person na naasahan ng kanilang pamilya. So that is early adulthood. So ako I am on this stage already. And I choose to be a spouse, a wife, and a parent. Okay. Now let's proceed to middle age. So middle age is now from 40 years old up to the retirement year. So um, dito sa Pilipinas, when we say, when we speak about retirement, it is usually 60 years old. Okay, so then your middle age. It is a transition age again. Okay, kanina yung um, adolescence, transition age siya from childhood to adulthood. Dito naman sa middle age, it is a transition age when adjustments to initial physical and mental decline are experienced. Kanina yung adolescence, transi transition age siya wherein, so usually for growth siya. Dito naman sa middle age, it's transitional is a transition age for physical and even mental decline. Okay, syempre pag tumatanda na, yun yung mga panahon na napagod yung ating yung physical na katawan, di ba? Yung mga lolo at lola natin, yung mga talagang kumayod ng husto sa trabaho. So, dyan na nagkakastart na makaramdam sila ng tiredness, yung iba pa, nakakalungkot. Siyempre, merong iba, nagkakasakit, panangihina na yung katawan, so physically ganun. And even mental. So, dahil sobrang... Um, Sabi natin, sobrang naghamit yung, yung utak, agod, sobrang na-stress. So, nakakaroon din ng mga mental decline. Maminsan, may mga nakakalimot. Ayan, unti-unting nakakalimot, nagiging malilimutin. O kaya naman, yung iba, mental disability. ba Minsan, may humahan kung sa ganun. Because of experiences, okay? Yung iba masyado mabibigat at mahihirap, malulungkot, or devastating experiences in life. 
And then last, we have the old age or the retirement of today. So retirement age when increasingly rapid physical and mental decline are experienced. So, yun na naman ibig sabihin. No? So, syempre, pag sinabi natin 60, 60 years old pataas, so, sila talaga yung usually na mga nagpapahinga na lang sa bahay dahil talagang physically worn out and hindi na talaga kaya ng katawan. Nagpapahinga na lang. At yung iba, sad to say, ay yun nga, tadong naging malaki yung epekto ng kanilang pwedeng bad habits o kaya poor lifestyle para maging, uh, para mag-result into sickness. So, aside from that developmental stage, Robert J. Havikus elaborated on the developmental task theory in the most systematic and extensive manner. So in here, his main assertion is that development is continuous throughout the entire lifespan, occurring in stages where the individual moves from one stage to the next by means of successful resolution of problems or performance of developmental tasks. So in, uh, for him, these tasks are those that are typically encountered by most people in the culture where the individual belongs. So, dito naman, uh, have we first believed that our developmental changes are being affected by our culture or the people that surround us, by the society we belong to. If the person successfully accomplishes and masters the developmental task, he feels pride and satisfaction and consequently earns his community or society's approval. Diba? May mga ganun tao who are longing for uh, other people's approval para mas ma-motivate siya to improve. This success provides a sound foundation which allows the individual to accomplish tasks to be encountered at later stages. Conversely, or on the other hand, if the individual is not successful at accomplishing a task, he is unhappy or is not accorded the desired approval by society, resulting in the subsequent experience of difficulty when faced in succeeding developmental tasks. So itong theory na to, it presents the individual as an active learner who continually interacts with a similarly active social environment. So having first believe that an individual in order in order for an individual to be actively developing, he or she must belong to an active society. So that's why he proposed a biopsychosocial model of development wherein the developmental tasks at each, at, at each stage are influenced by the individual's biology, his psychology, and sociology. So there is a developmental task summary table that he proposed. So let us uh, view this table. So for infancy in early childhood, so that is from uh, 0 to 5 years old, is where we learn to walk, learn to take solid foods, learn to talk, learn to control the elimination of body wastes. Learning sex differences and sexual modesty. So dyan din na-develop yung um, dyan pala na-develop na yung pagkakaalam natin sa pagkakaiba ng babae at lalaki. Acquiring concepts and language describe social and physical reality. Re readiness for reading. So sa ganyang age, yan, nakakabasa na rin po. Usually, nag-start na, magiging on, nag-start na makabasa. Learning to distinguish right from wrong and developing a conscience. So, sa ganyang age daw pala, according to Havit First, nagkakaroon na ng konsensya ng isang bata. So, na-identify na na niya yung difference between uh, right and wrong. Saan yung mga basic difference between right and wrong? So, not this middle childhood. So, that's from 6 years old to 12 years old. So, it, 
here, we learn physical skills necessary for ordinary games. So, natututo nang maglaro ang mga bata. Building a wholesome attitude towards oneself. Wholesome attitude, so that's positive attitude. Learning to get along with age means learning an appropriate sex role. So, dito na-identify na ng bata kung uh, ano ba yung pang babae, ano yung pang lalaki. Yan. Develop Men are developing fundamental skills in reading, writing, of course, and calculating or counting. Developing concepts necessary for everyday living. Developing conscience, morality, and a scale of values. So, dito unti-unti nang napuform. Dito values formation, unti-unti na nade-develop in this um, age. Achieving personal independence in self-learning. Ayun natin nagpapaturo. Gusto natin na-discover natin at our own. And also developing acceptable attitudes towards society. So, syempre, uh, nandun pa rin sa age na to yung nakita natin kung ano yung merong, kung ano yung kadalasang ginagawa ng mga tao sa paligid natin. So, yun yung nagagaya natin. Okay. The next adolescence, 13 to 18, so achieving mature relations with both sexes. Okay. Achieving a masculine or feminine social role. So, dito na define na talaga nila kung ano yung uh, social role ng babae sa lalaki. Accepting one's physique. Natatanggap na natin physical condition natin. Achieving emotional independence of adults. So, dito... Um, nakikita natin unti-unti natin nakukuha yung um, emotional characteristics ng mga nakakatanda sa atin because somehow we are preparing for marriage and family life Pre preparing for an economic career acquiring values and an ethical system to guide behavior so dito nagiging um new karamihan nagiging defined na kung ano yung mga principles in life. Next is desiring achieving social responsibility behavior. So, mas nagiging aware na tayo sa mga nangyayari sa ating society. So, mas nagkakaroon na tayo ng um, gusto natin magkaroon tayo ng contribution sa ating society. So, that's on adolescence. Kayo pala yan. Okay, sa age nyo. Next is early adulthood from 19 to 30. So, usually, this is where selecting a mate or a partner in life um, happens. Learning to live with a partner, starting a family, rearing children, managing a home, starting an occupation, assuming civic responsibility. So, yun nga, depende yun dun, kung ano yung tinahak mong landas. Pero usually, we are bound to have a partner in life. So, yun yung sa age na yun, usually nangyayari. Next is middle adulthood, 30 to 60. Helping teenage children to become happy and responsible adults. Wow. So, kung parang gusto natin maging role model na tayo sa mga ganitong age at this point in life. Siyempre, kung naging parent ka, so in, in this time, you're, you are beginning and you're going, you are starting to, to teach the young ones. Okay, so that's why you achieve adult social and civic responsibility. You have a satisfactory career achievement, developing adult leisure time activities, relating to one's spouse as a person, accepting the physiological changes of middle age. So, you know, mga next start na um, nung, nung early adulthood mo, sexy ka, sa mga pandang middle adulthood, unti-unti ka ng lumalaki, tumataba, okay, magpapayat ka ng papayat. So, yun yung mga ganyang changes. Adjusting to aging parent. So, And of course, later maturity that is 61 above. So, adjusting to decreasing strength and health. Kasi yun naman talaga ang uh, normal, no? So, siya habang tumatanda. So, unting pinanghina ating mga katawan. Adjusting to retirement and reduced income. So, kaya ba meron... Although may mga pension, ayan, mga sinasabi o kaya naman yung mga, kung yung mga naging anak mo ay naging magaganda ang katayuan sa buhay. So, kahit pa pang hindi ka masyadong mamaproblema sa reduced income. Adjusting to death of spouse, so possibly kung nagkaroon ka ng asawa, 
Tapos tumanda na kayo. So at this point in life, so yun na, unti-unti pa pwedeng maranasan. Establishing relations with one's own age group. So unti-unti ka na ngayon nakikasalamuha sa mga ka-age level mo. And then meeting social and civic obligation and establishing satisfactory living quarters. So yun na yung nag-start na yung iba, yung iba kasi maaga pero yung iba, retirement age so dyan nila na-enjoy yung sariling bahay and etc. 